Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss shuttle systems. So first of all, let's discuss what is a shuttle. Shuttle is a mechanism for transport of metabolites or chemical groups across the mitochondrial membrane. And shuttle systems, they transfer electrons from the hydrogen of cytoplasmic NADH to the mitochondrial electron carriers across the mitochondrial membrane. So what happens in a shuttle system, basically uh, the glucose molecule which undergoes glycolysis, it produces various intermediates like pyruvate is produced and many other intermediates along with that NADH is also produced. Now indirectly, it, this shuttle system conveys cytosolic NADH which is produced by glycolysis into mitochondria for oxidation. So there are two shuttle systems, malate aspartate shuttle and glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle. The NADH dehydrogenase, which is part of the inner mitochondrial membrane of electron transport chain, in animal cells it can accept electrons from NADH in the matrix and special shuttle systems they carry reducing equivalents from cytosolic NADH into mitochondria by an indirect route. So the first system which we are going to discuss is malate aspartate shuttle. This shuttles malate and aspartate across the membrane. But let's put this phenomena in a physiological context to understand the significance of this pathway. So it is the most active NADH shuttle which functions in liver, kidney and heart mitochondria. So to begin with malate aspartate shuttle. Now the oxaloacetate molecule which is already present in the system, in the cytosol, this oxaloacetate helps in conversion of oxaloacetate to malate. So the NADH which is uh, carrying the electrons, it w this NADH wants to transfer its electrons across the, across the cytosol, from cytosol to mitochondria. So oxaloacetate converts to malate and NADH converts to NAD plus with the help of Cytosolic malate dehydrogenase enzyme. Now this malate molecule which is carrying the electrons will cross the mitochondrial matrix. Once it reaches the matrix, this process of uh, transport takes place with the help of the transporter malate alpha ketoglutrate transporter. This transporter is an antiport. Antiporter is a transporter molecule which transports two solutes at a time in different directions. Now once malate has reached the mitochondrial matrix with the help of another enzyme that is mitochondrial malate dehydrogenase NADH is regained. So NAD plus converts to NADH and that is how NADH is able to cross the mitochondria. Malate again converts to oxaloacetate. Oxaloacetate with the help of the enzyme aspartate aminotransferase converts to aspartate. And in this process glutamate also converts to alpha ketoglutarate. Now this aspartate will cross the mitochondria and will reach cytosol with the help of the transporter glutamate aspartate transporter. Now once aspartate reaches cytosol, in the cytosol, the enzyme aspartate aminotransferase This enzyme aspartate aminotransferase converts aspartate back to oxaloacetate and that's how oxaloacetate is regained back. Alpha ketoglutarate which was produced in mitochondria is again regained back to glutamate. So in this way NADH is transported across the impermeable inner mitochondrial membrane. NADH in the cytosol passes two reducing equivalents to oxaloacetate and produces malate. Malate crosses the inner membrane via the malate alpha ketoglutarate transporter. In the matrix, it passes two reducing equivalents to NAD plus 
and NADH is oxidized. The oxaloacetate which is formed from malate cannot directly pass into the cytosol. Thus, we transaminate it with the help of the transporter glutamate aspartate transporter. We transport it and that's how oxaloacetate is regenerated. Next, we have to discuss glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle. Skeletal muscle and brain, they use a different NADH shuttle and this shuttle is called glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle. It differs from malate aspartate shuttle because it delivers the reducing equivalence from NADH to ubiquinone and thus into complex 1, not complex, thus into complex 3, not complex 1. Glycolysis converts to NADH and the dihydroxyacetone phosphate which is present in the cytosol it accepts these two uh, reducing equivalents from NADH in the reaction which is catalyzed by cytosolic glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. There is one more isozyme of this which is present in the mitochondria that is called mitochondrial glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. This uh, mitochondrial Glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase is bound to the outer face of the inner membrane. So, there are two isozymes cytosolic and mitochondrial. Now, the um, isozyme glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase, which is present on the outer face of the inner membrane, it transfers two reducing equivalents from glycerol 3 phosphate in the intermembrane space to ubiquinone Q molecule. And from Q, it is then passed to complex number 3 of electron transport chain. The mitochondria of plants, they have externally oriented NADH dehydrogenase and that can transfer electrons directly from cytosolic NADH into the respiratory chain at the level of ubiquinone. Because this pathway bypasses the NADH dehydrogenase of complex 1 and the associated proton movement also, the yield of ATP from cytosolic NADH is less than that of NADH which is generated in the matrix. And that's all for the video today. Thank you.